Hello friends, welcome back to 7 Days to Die with your host from the Bold. So, I found uh, potassium nitrate finally. Uh, I'll show you where it is here in a second. Let me, uh, I've almost got a full stack. I'm going to go ahead and get a full stack and then I will head back to the base. Very happy to finally found this. Ugh, so close. Any more exposed pieces? Alright, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I like that you know, even in each each scoop of sand gives me just a little bit of potassium. As long as you're not too close to the iron vein. I like how, I like how the iron is always bundled with extra stuff as well. Now I need... I found a, a, a lead vein near near the base. Um, so through the night, I dug. I, I finished up the farms. I hope you guys didn't mind the uh, the the day in the life of the Rongo episode. I wanted to try something different. I was kind of in a weird mood uh, when I recorded that, so I just wanted to just not talk and just relax and play. And also, while I was playing it, oh, there we go. Um, I also came up with an idea of why I wasn't getting zombies. So my thought, because I have been getting zombies outside of town in points of interest, but it started when uh, Aztec and I raided the uh, the pill factory place. I think it's any building that was generated in build one one. Or 123, was it one? Was it 119? <laughs> Whatever the last or the week last before last um, experimental build. I think those places I'm not getting oh, so close. I'm not getting zombies. Oh, one more piece, and there we are. We're totally full. I will toss this glue. No. I'll toss this goldenrod in exchange that little bit of nitrate and get this last little piece. So I think that is why I've not been getting zombies. Uh, even in the set piece point of interest, like the Vic Garrison's Pond alone that I raided, um, I was really shocked. I restarted, like I said, in the, in the video, I restarted several times to double check that, you know, it wasn't anything weird going on. Um, but no, I, I, that's my guess, is that buildings that were generated in an earlier build of the experimental are now not spawning uh, zombies for me. So that's interesting. Luckily or not, depends upon your point of view. Well, how do I get, how do I get out of here now? Um, how much frames? I have frames. Uh, luckily or not, I am pretty much done looting all the big things in this town. It's just houses left, which is like, eh. Um, so I think that if I do any other kind of big, you know, I want to do any kind of big adventure looting, then I will go to, is that the up? Yeah, that's the up. Um, all right, so this is where we are over here in the burned, burned biome. And I've marked it pretty close. We'll go ahead and just put this here as an extra point. Yeah, let me knock out this tree to get it out of the way as well. Uh, so yeah, if I go to do any kind of more looting, now obviously when I got killed uh, by spawning zombies, that was in this town down here. And we also have this possibly ginormous town. It looks freaking massive. I mean, there's our town there exposed with all those big buildings. And what we have right there looks to be as big as those two combined. So it, this is, looks like a massive city over here. So we will go back over and explore that um, in the next day, maybe after the um, the horde, after the day, next day horde. Uh, wait, are you, what, what's going on with you? Oh, you were just hanging out. He must have, he heard, cause there was a zombie milling around. It must have been that guy. He was just watching for me. Let's go ahead and grab. I need all the coal and potassium I can get to make ammo. So, uh, lead is my next uh, 
focal area, and I found a lead vein when I was finishing the garden up. So I did finish that as well uh, in the rain, horrible rainstorm at the end of last episode. Um, so I will be back home, and we'll... F I haven't planted all of it yet. I, I still have just the corn and, and potatoes that I planted with you guys. And I also decided what I want to spawn in... Or not spawn in. I want to mod in um, the streetlights as powered items. So I'll have to I'll, I'll have to play with that a little bit. Yay, level 101. Yeah, we got it. We got a. I leveled up last night. I haven't spent any points yet. I want to do that with you guys. Iron. Yeah, I've gotten so many eggs running around here last night. So I finally found that spot. Iron. Iron. Right, let's just let's just kill this guy. Boom! Yeah, now that we're at this high level, it's yeah, it's pretty easy to kill, even on insane. It's just the fact that they hit so hard, that's what hurts. Hurts in a big way. Alright, let's just nukefy this boulder. I love being able to like three hit these boulders now. Or four hit. Right. That's a bear. Right there. I see it in the corner of my eye. Now, is that a zombie bear or is that a regular bear? This is probably going to be a dumb decision because they're going to—it's going to absorb so much. Okay, he's right. He's right there. Ah. Fuck! I gotta do some juking. Shit. <laughs> this may have been a bad decision. Fuck me! Holy fuck. Scary for the language, but this is scary. Run. Luckily, every time he stops to swipe, he pulls up. Oh, there we go. Oh, that me! I was a wee bit nervous there of my uh, survivability. Let's just dump the coffee beans, dump that, dump the sand. Uh, I can't eat that yet. It's gonna be so much meat. Eleven pieces of meat. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Oh man, <laughs> I didn't bring my bike out because I was. Kind of an idiot, I guess. Plus, I was just, I wanted, I, well, I needed to explore. Ah! My leg just healed not that long ago. All right. Let's get back to the house. We'll dump all that stuff off. We'll get this, we'll get all this gunpowder going. All right. Hit that one already. <coughs> we'll hit the gunpowder going. Um, and I'll show you where we're at. Lead. Do you get coal off of every piece of grass? No, you don't. Dirt, 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 dirt. Crushed sand, dirt. Looks like it's uh, not dirt, but I guess it is all dirt. Uh, yeah. Don't quit, stop, quit, quit, being, quit being distracted, Rongo. 
Dang it. I mined up an entire field of uh, resource rocks. Is that more lead? I think that's more lead. I think I saw... No, that's just a regular... In fact, I think I saw another boulder, or another outcropping of lead. Right. It was near... Oh, it was probably back, back where that um, bear was. I thought I saw it. Oh, it's coal. Let me grab this coal. It's all precious. It's all pre Actually, I've got like I've got a full stack of six thousand um, coal from my coal mine. Uh, coal, so the coal mine is the entrance is here, but it, the cave, it's the actual like re node is over here. I basically went into the hillside, down, and then cut straight across. Uh, I didn't want to have a hole in the plains because that's where I'm going to have like Ferris wheels and stuff. So I wanted to go deep enough to not affect. Um, the stuff on the surface, but now I've got a pretty big uh, gap where I've dug up. All right, good enough. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I need engines as well. Now, the reason I need more engines is um, after I powered up everything, I checked, and I don't even have everything plugged in yet. Um, I have more pieces to build. So I plug everything in and I was drawing 211 amps or watts or joules or kelvins or yeah and uh, yeah I'm not I'm not an electrician and I can't remember my my uh, physics classes well enough to uh, remember that cruddles I think it's amps right or is it watts watt hours Watt hours. Watts! Okay, come on. Get back to the house. Um, yeah, so we need more power. We can't even power all the things we've got, so. Uh, nope. What's in here? This iron. Okay. Wait, house. House! House! On go! Stay on the house! You feel this? I just want to check. I'm hoping there's a closer potassium, but no, it's all freaking iron. It's all iron. Hello, ma'am. All right, I need to get. Uh, yeah, this is the area where I took up all the boulders. Um, I need to get some antibiotics in me too, because I am infectificated. Oh, I gotta show you guys the finished farm. Well, it's not finished yet. I have to upgrade the wood, and I'm I'm gonna put down um, frames uh, in between and around the edges as well. But there it is. So I've got twelve total plots. Um, there are ten total crops. So I'm gonna double up on potatoes since they're my low yield. <coughs> And I may double up on mushrooms as well because they're a low, they're a low hanging crop. Oh, let me explain as well what I was doing. Because you guys are probably like, why are you digging those holes out in the sides? So each edge out here, I've got power run out to it now. And I'm going to put electric fences out here um, <coughs> between the rows of spikes. So I'm going to have more spikes. I'm going to pull this asphalt up and that's the reason I moved the crops back so I needed more room to build back there so by having power out here I'll be able to plumb in and run power to the power lines which should help things immensely now I'm also going to put um, and I don't know yet I should have I'll, I'll test it can the shotguns fire through the iron bars? I would assume so because we can fire through iron bars. So I would assume that they can. Um, and I was really debating exact placement, whether it would go there or there. But I figured I would alternate it a little bit. So these are on the outside edges and these are more on the inside edges. And I also don't know if having them back there is going to let them traverse enough or not. Um, but we'll find out. If not, what I'll do is I'll move them forward one block 
and I'll hang the iron bars off of there, hanging down, um, so they still protect the turrets themselves from fire. So that's that's the goal, and that's the plan for that. You guys were wondering what the hell Rongo was doing. And yes, I know these are not helpful. Ouch. I know they're not helpful. And I'll take them out at some point. But I don't, they don't hurt either, so it's not really a big thing. Resources are not an issue. Um, especially iron. So, yeah. Okay, let's get over here. Um, wait, that's... Let us drop off some stuff first. All right, got my inventory organized. Now, this one I think has my lead so far in it. Um, and I was an idiot and I left this thing running. I, need, I did pick up some shale, so I've been burning shale as much as I can. Uh, let's grab those jars, put the jars away as well. And components. Okay, get a decent supply of, of oil now. All right, so we got the coal. Let's go ahead and queue up. Gunpowder. How much can I make? 125 minutes. Marvel. 6,000 uh, gunpowder, gun though. That will be nice. Um, and since I've got so much, I'm going to go ahead and kill the rest of it. I need 125 minutes. Beautiful. There we go. Ah, that makes me feel a little better. And you... Well, this guy's got my brass in it, so let's go ahead and put the rest of the brass. Smelt that puppy. That's going. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. And then let's grab our sand. And we'll go ahead and make the rest of this concrete. I always do that so I can... I wish you could put a four-digit number in. It would be quite nice. What? What, governor? All right, rocks. Yes. Stone. And then iron, I don't think... Yeah, let's get this like get these things going a bit more. We've got plenty of stone in there. Now, I want uh, pellets, shotgun, buckshot, buckshot, three hundred forty-five rounds. So everything I've been hearing by you guys telling me how bad the day twenty-eight horde could could should be, I'm a wee bit nervous. Now I had gone out. Uh, part of what my loot run was, was to try to find more shotgun parts. Um, but so far, I have not found um, shotgun parts. I went ahead and uh, turned my aloe into more bandages. So, uh, we are going to go and try to find... I swear my rock is, like, duplicating. Does it feel like it to you guys? It really honestly feels like I have more stone now than I started with. Can I eat that yet? Nope. Um, and I could use some more steel. I could use some more forged steel. Can I get like a um, hundred of these? That'd be nice. Oh, and let's level up. Let's level up. Okay, so we now awesomely get next rank of this and this. Oh, jeez, that costs so much. 
Is there... Okay, is there anything else we need? Or Session Tyrannosaurus. Got the Secret Stash. 16 points for the next level of that. I could do another level of Pummel Peat. That's 20 points. Everything just costs so much. Bad Mechanic would not be bad. Uh, only thing I don't, don't have is the 44 mag. I don't have a full 44 mag yet anyway. Do it yourself. I can't do until we have science 10. That's going to take a while. Uh, machete we've got. The outlaw gun stuff. I don't. I haven't even used the gun really yet. Um, Quality Joe would not be a bad call at this point. Start finding some better and better stuff. All right, let's just hang on to those points then. Because um, tool smithing is going to cost 24 points. So I'll need two more levels before I can afford that. I really should have gone ahead and waited for it. Um, do I have, How much forge iron do I have? I've got enough for a spiked club. That's how much I've got. Spiked club! Uh, let's make two of them. And we should be able to bump it up to a 550 then, I believe. I'll make one more. Just in case. Just in case. Alright, so I'm going to go grab the car. And we're going to run around. More of them. Grab the car. Yeah, we're going to grab the car. Ka! The ka! Did I get everything out of there last time? No, not quite. Well, I'm going to get this and then we'll go get a car. Is that a good enough car? That's a good enough car. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even loot this car. It's like right in front of my house. All right, so hoping for engines. I actually prefer the second stage because you get the engine off the second stage. So my guess is, no matter which house I go into now, they are going to be empty. Which is really kind of sad, in a way. I mean, there's zombies outside everywhere, but just nothing in. Those for final stage, final stage. Like, this guy be outside, but he won't be inside. Ouch. Why do you feel like you're so tall, dude? Why? Oh! I saw you coming. I saw you coming, you stupid little zombie. <sighs> yeah, so my guess is no zombies there. No zombies in that house. No engines, of course. Would be too easy. So yeah, I think we will run. Actually, we'll run over today to the other town. Let's grab this car since it's practically throwing itself at us. So yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll run over in the next episode to that other town, the big town, and we'll sp check it out a little bit and just get a feel for it, and hopefully find. Um, I want that, the, the Nagasaki, the, 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 what's it called? The Diatomi, the uh, Nakatomi Plaza Hotel building, the big, huge thing. Dishong Tower. That's the words. The words. Read the words. The words. Tell me what, tell me what channel. Whoa, you were doing some weird things here. Tell me uh, what channel has read the words read the words words of the developer read the words words read the words I like him max cool uh, dun, dun, dun. 
I bet we all agree with most of his opinions. <laughs> all right, yeah. I think let's just just as an example, let's just pick a door at random. Unlocked. I bet we're not going to have... There will be no zombies in this building. Let's we'll pick another one at random. Yep. So, that's kind of a... It's a weird... That's a weird bug. But again, they've told us over and over again, restart your world. Now, I did restart it at one... What version? Um, one one. It was like the th the third build. I uh, restarted the world, but evidently there was something. There's something about the zombie spawning for sleepers between then and here where they changed some code about like you know where they spawn or how they spawn or what flavor of Jello they like, something like that. And it, in turn, has completely broken my zombie spawnage. Which is... It makes, uh, makes it for, makes for very, very... Oh, there's all these cars. Awesome. Makes for easy looting in this town, but also for kind of boring looting. So, Anyway, guys, when I come back, we will be headed over... Or actually, we'll probably be over at that other town, over to the... Over to... Here, we'll check it out. I want to see if there are any gun stores. Oh, nice new gun. That's a nice nail gun. Uh, any uh, auto, an auto place would be great. Might find a bunch, a bunch of cars there. I could maybe a car dealership. Um, something like that. Hey, we're, I'm out here, dude. I'm out here. Over here. Yeah, yeah. High five. So that's the plan. If you guys are enjoying it, click that. Oh, phew, that was a zombie behind me. Click that like button. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Tell your friends, your family, and your grandmas. And I will see you all later. Peace.